Our next guest is the only female comic to win the Star Search Comedy Grand Prize, and since then she has become one of the busiest comedians in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Jones. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It has been a great two years since I won $100,000 on Star Search. Thanks. A lot of people have asked me what happened to the money. You know, with all the things going on today, I wanted to do something for the homeless, so I bought my ex-husband a tent. <laughs> I'm buying a new car. Finally, finally. I'm, I, and I have to get something dependable, because I think mechanics take advantage of women sometimes. Do they not? All right, all right. Last time I took my car in, $95 to have my spark plugs rotated. <laughs> I said, you must think I'm stupid. I never paid more than 50. <laughs> women have to know about cars, single women do. I was married once, but uh, it didn't work out. He was an older, well, a lot older than I was. And it's not like I didn't try, I did everything for him. I got up every morning, I washed his hair, I brushed his teeth. They were always ready when he got up. Appreciate. Try to have a little fun. I tried. I used to play games with him to keep him young. I would make up games to play with him. He never wanted to play. I don't think hide the insulin is such a bad game, you know. <laughs> so we finally split up. I started dating a younger guy, and people were so shocked. He was pretty young. I mean, I don't even know what the attraction was. Well, you know, it was the uniform. You know, you see a guy that the scarf, the badge, the compass. If you're dating a younger guy, you know what's really depressing? When he asked you to help him with his history lesson and you were there. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm looking around. Uh, I am. It's hard to find the right guy. You know what I find attractive on a man? <laughs> Cash. <laughs> I hate cheap guys. I hate it. I hate dating cheap guys. This man took me out one time. This is a first date now. He took me to this restaurant. At least he was a gentleman. He carried my tray. <laughs> Dinner at the Sizzler. He forgot the coupons. We had to go back, you know. Was... <laughs> then he had to stop and get some cash on the way back, you know. It was, it was a good thing. Once he got those aluminum cans out of the car, we had a lot more room. <laughs> blind date? Never again. People trying to set me up on... Let me describe my last blind date. This guy shows up. You know a guy's trying to grow a mustache and he can't? He had about like nine long hairs on his upper lip. He had this overbite, and, and his eyes, <laughs> he looked like a catfish in a suit. You know? <laughs> I don't mind talking about him. He was rude. I'm ready to go. I open the door. He says, I suppose you're going to be late. I said, why do you have to get back before low tide? <laughs> oh, it's just, I, am not, I just, I, I don't date that much anymore. There's a lot of weird guys, a lot of kinky things. This one guy asked me to mother him once. You know, I didn't know what to do. I spit on a hanky and wiped his face. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. You're terrific. <laughs>